Before we start the video, once again rest in peace Kobe Bryant, Gigi, Alyssa Altobelli, her mother Kerry, her father John, Christina Mauser, Payne Chester, Payne's mother Sarah, and pilot Ara Zobayan. It's going to be hard for all their respective families to move forward, and I am hoping for the best for all of them. So while it's definitely hard to go back to talking about the current NBA season after what happened, big news was reported yesterday about a potential Kyle Kuzma trade. It was noted that the Kings offered Nemanja Belicia and a draft pick for Kyle Kuzma, sorry if I butchered the name, and the Lakers declined the offer. There are actually mixed opinions on whether the Lakers made the right move, and I could see why. I know a lot of people don't really watch the Kings much or know how good Belicia is, but he's been having a very good season this year for Sacramento. The sharp shooting forward is averaging 12.3 points, 6.5 rebounds, 2.7 assists, 0.9 steals, and 0.6 blocks in 28.2 minutes per game. He's also shooting a very efficient 48.3% from the field, 43.5% from three, and 85.7% from the free throw line and has a positive 1.57 RPM and a positive 0.68 PIPM. He's also hit clutch threes to win games for Sacramento, and he's been one of the lone bright spots for them this year. He's a versatile forward who can shoot the ball from deep and is also a very good passer for his position. He makes smart plays and hits cutters for easy baskets, and he's a type of high IQ player the Lakers could definitely use. In addition, he's an above average defender especially in help situations, and he's certainly an upgrade over Kuzma on this end of the floor. Actually, it really does look like Belicia is an upgrade over Kuzma in almost every aspect of the game, except for maybe creating shots for himself. I know a lot of Laker fans and Kuzma fans don't want to hear that, but the stats just back it up. I'm not a Kuzma fan or a Kuzma hater, I'm just pretty neutral on him, so I'm not really biased, but if the Lakers are looking for a win now option, and who is the better option right now and not in the future, Belicia is that player. In addition, the Kings reportedly offered a pick as well, though it wasn't reported whether it was a first or a second round pick. But even with all this in mind, I'd say the Lakers made the right move for now in not making the trade, at least not yet. Kuzma may not be the better player at this very moment, but in the future he will almost certainly be. I think his potential is worth a lot more than Bielicia and what could have been just a second round pick, and the Lakers could get more for Kuzma if they do decide to trade him. If the Kings did in fact offer a first round pick, then I would think this would be a fair trade, but if it's a second, then I don't think so. If Kuzma continues to struggle over the next few games and the Lakers get an offer for someone like Covington, though of course it will be hard to match salaries, then I think they should try to make that move. But if it's just for Belicia and a second round pick, I think they made the right play with holding Kuz and waiting for a potentially better offer. We'll see if the Lakers make any moves this trade deadline, and from what it looks like, I think they are still a move or two away from beating the Bucks in the finals. So that's a wrap, thank you all for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my newest video will be coming out. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball or business, just drop a comment down below on my photo or DM me and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys there. Drop a comment down below if you think the Lakers should have made this trade. Let me know as I do all comments. I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say here as well. So, with all that being said, once again, thank you all for watching. And hopefully, I will see you soon for the next video. Peace.